Okay, now we're going to show how to do a quadratic curve. A quadratic curve is a line between two points with another line called a control line that influences the path of the line. Again, I'm using the Z code uh, setup here for my display. So to do this, we need to find the, uh, again, random start point and end points like we did previously. And again, we've got a loop. We're drawing 100 of these. We're going to create a new quadratic curve 2D object. Notice how this is uh, a subclass. So we have double or float. I've just been using the double, so I'll can say consistent. The only other thing I need are the control point. So I have random coordinates for that. And so what we do is we create the uh, quadratic curve 2D object called Q and then we use a set curve method to set the parameters for it and then we go ahead and uh, draw it like so okay so let's go ahead and take a quick look at that so here's a bunch of random curves alright let's real quickly set up a program that does a little bit different so you can see how the control point works so if we go back here uh, let's go ahead and have it draw across the screen. So we'll create a start X here at uh, 0. and eh, not 0, let's say 10. And then I want my Y to be at the midpoint, which is 512. And then I want to draw along the Y axis, so that will also be 512. And then the end point would be uh, let's see, 1024, let's say 1012. How about 1010? Oops, sorry. Okay, and then the control X and the control Y, instead of making those random, um, let's, well, let's just do it random the first time. Okay, so now I've locked the control points in, so I'm going to draw 100 lines that have the same X and Y uh, end start and end point but they're going to have different control point so let's see what we get so there you can see that basically I have the beginning and end points that are the same but depending on where my control point is it pulls the curve out and that's how the quadratic works so I'll leave this for you what you might want to do is set one that sets it in a more reasonable way in a for loop so you can kind of see the gradual effect that it does. Okay. Uh, so actually, 